Savant Power System 20 Initial Power-Up Testing. After installing Savant Power Storage 20, we need to test that the unit is working properly. Do not turn on the power until the system has been tested for proper functionality. Required tools, multimeter and wired or wireless network. Warning, before making any connections to the Power System 20, be sure the inverter switches for PV and grid, the on-off button for the inverter, and the BMS switch are all in the off position. Keep all switches in the off position until you are instructed to turn them on in the following tests. Off-grid discharging test. One, make sure the PV switch is off. Two, make sure the grid switch is off and press the power button. Three, turn on the BCMS switch and press the start button. Please wait for two to three minutes until both the BCMS and all battery LEDs turn green. Four, use a multimeter to measure between the battery plus and battery minus terminals, and that should read at around 400 volts DC. You'll also need to take a reading for the voltage between the battery plus and reference terminal, as well as the battery minus and reference terminal, each of which should come in around 200 volts DC. 5. Press the on-off button. Wait for 3 minutes. If done correctly, you'll see the following scenario. The load indicator will be solid green, and the run indicator will be flashing yellow. Use a multimeter to measure voltages at the load section. The reading between the L1 and L2 terminal should hover around 240 volts AC. You'll also need to take a reading between both the L1 in neutral and the L2 in neutral, both of which should read approximately 120 volts AC. Networking test. Download the Savant Power Storage app and scan the QR code on the device to add units. Use the network cable to connect the device to the router, or use the app to set the Wi-Fi for the system. For details, please refer to the basic app settings video on YouTube or on the Education channel. When connected to the internet, the network light will be solid green. If not, the network indicator will be solid white. Grid charging tests. Again, use a multimeter to test between the L1 and L2 terminals. The voltage should read at 240 volts AC, and the frequency should be approximately 60 Hz. Then turn on the grid switch. Open the app and turn on the fill-up toggle. Wait for two minutes. If everything is operating properly, you'll see the following. The grid indicator is solid green. The real-time charging state of the grid is greater than 6 kilowatts. Then switch fill up back to the off state. PV charging test. Use a multimeter to check the voltage at the PV port. If the measured voltage is within normal ranges, turn on the PV switch. Notice. If the RSD initiation device is installed, there is no voltage until the PV switch is turned on. Wait for two minutes for the run indicator to turn solid green. With solar present, the real-time charging should be greater than 0.5 kilowatts. Warning, before applying the load, all the aforementioned tests must be passed successfully. Otherwise, please turn off all switches and buttons and refer to the instruction manual for inspection or contact Savant's customer service.